Hi everyone, thanks for joining. Welcome back. This is Jonna with Purple Girl Crafts. Today I'm going to show you this fun bendy card. This is a great way to use scraps. It only has one fold in it and then the other parts are bendy and then it also will lay flat for shipping so there's no extra postage required. And this is done in a five by seven card. So it's pretty fun, it's pretty quick to make. And then I'll show you the boulder that I did. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need the base card and this is going to be six and three quarters by five inches and then we are going to score this in the middle at three and three eighths. And then you'll want to fold it in half and crease it out. So that's all you'll need for the base. For the layers on this, we'll need two pieces and these are cut at three and one eighth by four and three quarters and they're just going to sit on the top. Now I just used plain paper I didn't use pattern because the top piece is going to be pattern paper. Then we'll need one piece that is cut at six and a quarter by four inches and on the six and a quarter inch side we are going to score this. I'm going to flip it over and we are going to score this at five eighths on each side. And again, fold them and crease them. And lastly, we'll need one piece that is seven and three quarters by one inch. And we are going to score this at five eighths inch on both ends of the seven and three quarters inch side. You don't have to turn the paper. You could score it at five eighths inch on each side, but I've just easier just to turn it and score it and then crease those out. And then I already cut out a flamingo that I'm going to use. That's just one of my decorations. And then I have a brother machine that does labels and I cut this out. Now, it is very long. I cut it out too long, but I'm going to apply this. And I don't like the gold with the white, but we're just going to go ahead and use it because that's what I'd already cut out. So we're done with our scoreboard. So let's remove that. Now we're going to start assembling the card. So the first thing we're going to do is the base of the card. So I'm going to grab the first the back of the card and then the two top layer pieces. Now I'm going to use my tape so I'm going to fast forward and tape these down. Now we're going to do the bendy piece, the first piece. I've already applied my tape to the back of it and I'm just kind of lining this up to see where I want it. You want it to be as even and in the center as possible. So as I glue this next piece, I'm just lining it up. I'm going to take the, the top of the double sided tape off on just one side and then I'm going to reposition this, kind of line it up, eyeball it like I had it and then I'm going to fold that one side in that has a tape on it and secure that and then I'll undo the other side and then just move the tape off of the other one lay it flat out and secure it now I've seen people that have put a crease in the center but I'm not going to do that on this one I don't like it but you could it just helps to make the card stand open a little bit wider so for this piece we're going to glue this down but before we do we're going to add the banner so we're going to put this banner on before we glue this last bendy piece down and I'm just going to line it up, make sure it's at center as can be. And then I'm just going to take this double sided off. I did cut it longer so that I can wrap it around. So I'm going to remove the backing and then I'm going to apply it to this one inch strip. 
Now I did cut it a lot longer because I'm going to fold it under. Now, careful too, this will curl on itself and it will stick to itself if it does catch. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of center it as even as possible. And then I'm just going to push it down. And then make sure that when you fold this over that you don't fold the tab first. Fold the tape over if you have extra and then fold your tab down. Otherwise your, your, thing, your piece will be too short. And I'm just going to push press these out. So we're going to attach this to the card. We are going to line up the one inch piece with the banner to the bottom of the center of the card as I'm showing you here. So I'm just going to glue this. Now this piece is 5 8 inch, which is the same distance that you are having left on the card. So it should fit. If it doesn't, if for some reason you're off center a little bit, you can cut a little piece off on here. So we're just going to glue this on the tab and then we're just going to line it up so it's at the bottom of that center piece and then to the edge of the card. And then go ahead and secure the other piece. And again, just glue the flap. Making sure that it is perfectly lined up the bottom of that center piece. And there you have it. And I just got glue on there a little bit. And I'm just going to use my bone folder and just kind of push that in on the inside. So this is our card so far. It will stand up by itself. So I'm going to, I was going to put some stars in there, but I didn't like the way they look. So we're just going to do some, a flamingo. And I'm going to put him just off to the side and I'm going to use a pop dot on his foot just to give him just a little bit of dimension. I'm only going to glue down the one foot. So he'll stand. He is leaning a little bit forward, but that's okay. So I think we need some more decoration. So I'm going to get some hearts and I'm going to glue some hearts on here. So I'm going to go punch some and be right back. So I'm just going to put these on the card. No particular order or anything. I'm going to glue it to the back of that banner and just enough glue just to hold it. And then I'm going to add some more hearts to the top of the heart. And I'm just putting just enough glue to hold a heart on and then just applying one heart. And I'll probably put them going just a little bit direction and just do a couple of them. And I'm just randomly going to glue these on just to give it some depth. I'm actually putting a piece of paper behind it just so that I don't get glue on there. Okay, and that is our card. I hope you had fun. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye. Great day. Bye bye.